All right, guys, I want to show y'all something. This is another reason I wish I had the money to go ahead and get in here now. See this group right here called Much Love and Blessings? Okay, view photo. This is my group I started. Um, I invited a friend of mine to be owner with it. It's called Much Love and Blessings. It's a local Facebook group. It has 400 and some members. Um, what we do in this group is I let people claim three free items a day. And you can give away as many free items as you want a day. But if you claim one, you have to return one. But what also I did with this Facebook group when I was in my home. Alright y'all. Here's what I did this year, me and Melanie in the group. I gave out four prizes for anyone that donated anything. Hello, for Easter. hello, hello. To I did hello, six today hello, is the hello. Day. Today is the you day. Got Sixty. You got six. Sixty. Easter basket. Easter basket. Six. Let that sink in. Six. Let We've that sink in. We've only had the group, my group, Mon and Melanie. We've only had the group, my blessings. group, Mon and Melanie. We've Much only love had blessings it. for not even a full three months. And we have put together with our amazing people in our group and friends out of the group who have all made this possible hey kathy i miss you too sweetie i'll be back soon i promise i love you you guys our group mine and melanie cummins much love and blessings and the people on our friends list have all made this possible in less than three months we have 66 Easter baskets that you all made possible, and I cannot stress enough. Hey, Judy, honey, I cannot stress enough how appreciative I am for you all making this possible for these wonderful children. I mean, it just, this right here just makes my whole year. Yes, 66. One was picked up yesterday, and I've got someone on the way right now with 22 more chocolate bunnies. Um, a donor fell through, so, but I, it's taken care of at the last minute. We got them coming, and we got all the toys. Man, you guys We've only had it. Y'all made this, this possible. Okay, but you guys, this was awesome. We made 66 Easter baskets happen in less than three months. This is some donations. I had a bunch of cash donations as well. Had over 500 in cash donations and a bunch of regular donations. And what I did was I made baskets. I also have a food pantry um, with this group. So, as soon as I get back in this home, I can get the food pantry back up and running. Because um, I have that extra room. And I also have the garage. So, I'm going to get the food pantry back up and running. I have a fridge that was donated for the food pantry as well. Um, so, you know, it's hot, cold, uh, food pantry. Come on, Tess, let's go. Um, so you guys, I'm super, come on, Tess, let's go. So I'm super excited to get back in here because this year I already had where I wanted to do 10 families for Christmas and I can't do any of this till I get back in my home. I still have everything in storage. I have things I've been collecting, um, uh, for kids already for Christmas, brand new items, and for the parents of the children, because I don't just do for the the kids. Um, at Valentine's Day this year, when I started the group, <clears throat> there was a family that got nominated. They didn't even know they were nominated. It's a woman, her husband. She had been put in the hospital for, um, she doesn't do drugs or anything like that. She was put in the hospital for medical conditions social services because her husband works several jobs he works two jobs and then odd jobs so social services because they're not from my state so social services stepped in took the kids while they while she was in the hospital well they became homeless during that while she was in the hospital so as soon as she got out of the hospital they finally got into a home the home was in really bad condition come to find out 
and a family came, um, a lady came to me and said, is there any way, I know it is uh, Valentine's Day, is there any way you can make it super special because the kids didn't get Christmas this year, um, the mom was in the hospital, the dad does everything he can, working his butt off, their car broke down on them. Well, the house they finally got into wasn't the best. It needed some repairs. Um, they didn't have any furniture or anything. Um, we managed to get them furniture. Uh, several food boxes we pulled together and some food gift cards um, for um, like Walmart and a few other places. Um, but for Easter, everybody um, in my group came together and people off just my friends list itself off Facebook came together and with all kinds of donations I went and bought 10 laundry baskets well no I take that back I bought 11 laundry baskets I bought 10 for the children one for the mom all right and the dad and what we did was we filled those baskets for Valentine's Day with all kinds of Valentine's Day goodies. We made them huge. We made them laundry baskets for a reason because they missed out on this year's Christmas. Man, you guys, let me see if I can find it. That was the Easter, 66 Easter. All right, here's the baskets and stuff I give away to winners of people who contribute. I do three or four prizes uh, that... Uh, there's one of the baskets I give away. There's baskets being collected. I want to get to the Valentine's Day baskets that we did. Look, look at all the donations. You guys, I can't. There's the food pantry I had started. That's when I very first started it. People donated so that I could do food baskets daily is what I was doing. Um, trying to get to the Valentine's Day baskets that we made for that family of 10. Um, they were amazing. Made up from not having a Christmas um hold on i'm getting to it all right oh here we go here is the family um of 10 kids here is the valentine's day baskets i was talking about we had them plumb full to the top man they were freaking awesome and so you know it's my group. I started it because I wanted to give back to people because I know what it's like to need a hand and not be able to get it. So I always tried to make it happen. So yeah, I'm trying to get back in here. It's going to take three weeks to save up the down payment because we have to pay 400 a week for the hotel we're in. I'm if we didn't have to pay that 400 a week for the hotel we was in, then we could move in sooner. I'm just, I'm racking my brain trying to figure all this out, trying to figure out a way to get in quicker. <clears throat> Once I get in here, I can actually do my lives again for my jury and my color street, my nails. So then I'll be making money again. Plus, I get a check every month um, for my trust fund of 600 but. It just, it's taking so long to get in here. I'm just, I'm getting aggravated. It's hard to pay one place and have another place that you can't pay till you get the full amount. I don't know. I'm just y'all. But this is what I do with my spare time is I give back to people. See, this is the kind of stuff people give on my site. Just anything they have extra in their home. And, you know, once I get back in here, I've got the food pantry going again. Um, we help people who have fires, floods, things of that nature. We all come together and I'll make a post and get them donations from people. And, and you know, that's what we do. Exactly what we do. And, uh, see, I mean, it's just the page is awesome. And uh, it's me, Melanie, and then I have an, an admin for the page, a friend of mine, my best friend who's also admin on my jury page too. Um, but this is the kind of thing I do. I don't just do for myself, I do for others. So, you know, once I grow my YouTube platform ever, you know, then I'll involve you all in this if you want to be involved as well. So, but yeah, this is my page and I started it and that's why, you know, like I said, too many times in this world people need help and because you don't fit into their 
perfect little mold, sometimes they will not help me. And it's just, it's what I do. All right. And I love doing. It makes me feel good to give. If you all could have seen the smile on that family of 10's faces when they got those Valentine's baskets, we took the Valentine's baskets to them. I have a video on here somewhere. Uh, oh, well, here's the family of 10 right here getting their Easter, because we did Easter for them also. But this is them getting their Easter, but we also did Valentine's Day for them. I wish I could find that video real quick to show you all, because it's on here. And I got her permission before I posted them, because she actually wanted to do a thank you video, because she was so appreciative. Hold on, let me go back to it. She was so appreciative of what we did that she said, yes, please do All right. video so she can thank them and they can see the kids' faces, how happy they were getting their Valentines after not having a Christmas. Um, I'm trying to find it, you all. Yes. I want to show it to y'all. I want y'all to see it so y'all can see what exactly I do. What my group does that I started. Oh, there's the baskets. There's the baskets. That was four of their Valentine's baskets because they didn't have Christmas. Where's my video? Well, I can't find the video. I do not know what happened to it because it was here, I promise you. Huh. Well, I don't know, but it was here. But I wanted to share with you all my group. Much love and uh, blessings. It's a Piff Pay It Forward group. And plus, like I said, we help people. So I wanted to share with you all.